Hey YouTube, this is Scandalous D with your winter finale of Scandal. Now, I'm not going to mention everything that happened, just all the stuff that stood out to me. Sally Langston, the vice president, holier than thou, stabbed her husband to death after finding out that he was gay. Or after finding out that um, Cyrus knew that he was gay. Because I knew all along she knew. She um, tells him how... How could he do this to her? She worked to get to get here to finally be president. He told her, look, you knew I was gay when we were in college. You wanted me to be your little uh, arm candy, and I gave you that, but I'm not, I'm not about to do it anymore. He said, the only reason why I married you is because my parents wouldn't disown me, and I'm about to go and, and live with a boy in, in Massachusetts somewhere. We're going to have a good life. She takes the... Uh, Letter opener and stabs him to death. Then she calls Cyrus, of all people, Cyrus, and says, I've committed a sin. Oh, Cyrus, please, I've committed a sin. It's just like, why in the world would you call Cyrus? Cyrus comes and he loses his lunch and basically he cleans it up and make it look like he died of a heart attack. Um... Sally Langston, she really played the role to the T. Um, she really did a good job, but... The coroner came, they put him in bed, made him look like he had a heart attack. And then, you know, he was just like, you know, don't say anything, just play it cool. And um, she, you know, the coroner looked at his body and come to find out that uh, Sally, Sally, she tells him, leave my husband, leave us alone. And he ends up leaving him, and she ends up telling her second Olivia Pope that she killed him. And I'm like, why in the world would you tell him that? Why in the world would you tell him that? But she was, he goes, he's in hell. He's rotten in hell because he was a homosexual, and I had to kill him. I'm a murderer, but he's he's uh, more so going to hell because he was a, a gay man. I'm thinking, you still haven't gotten You're still a hypocrite. You're still self-righteous. I am so over her character. I don't know what to do. But um, that's what happened with that. Um, you know, Millie, Millie, she just... On cloud nine, now that she got something on Sally, called Cyrus, just like, oh my God, the prayer, our prayers have been answered. We we have everything we wanted now. Sally is a murderer. And, you know, Cyrus is just kind of like, oh, okay. She sends her flower and says, oh, we're going to be here for you, blah, blah, blah. All the while saying, okay, I know you killed somebody. You know, don't get too crazy because we do have something on you. Um... Next thing you know, they show uh, Fitz kidnapping Papa Pope. And Papa Pope just reads him for filth. He goes and tells him, you don't love Olivia. You're a boy. You you don't love her. She's just your escape goat to not be your father's son. Um, you try to act like you have it so hard. I had to scrape and work hard for everything that I have. And you are a boy. You are nothing but a boy. And Fitz tries him back by saying, yeah, I had your girl Olivia. I had her. I know how she tastes and everything. And I was like, Fitz, oh my God. I was halfway surprised. But halfway, like, offended, like, oh my god, I can't believe he said that. And, um, he was just like, you, you don't love her. Olivia shows up and she, you know, basically puts two and two together and goes, you got played by her just like I did. You, um, she made you believe that, um, she was a good person, but basically she had you b blow up a plane, uh, to killing people, and that's why you had to put her away. And you could tell that he didn't want to tell the truth, but he couldn't help it. He was just like, you know, it is what it is. She was just like, you know, I don't blame you anymore. I just now realize that you had my best interest and that she didn't. And uh, she goes and tries to get her, you know, gladiators, her OPA people to try to find uh, her mother. And they like, you know, she's already on the plane. She killed the people on the plane. She's now going into the White House. And Olivia calls her and she's just like, hello, Olivia. Mommy has to go, or whatever she says. She has on this a white uh, coat, and she's about to go see uh, Fitz Fitzgerald Grant, looks like. And then um, Jake, 
Jake ends up saying how, and I thought he was going to get killed. He was just saying how he loved Olivia, how he always loved her, how, you know, he was just basically saying his goodbye to her. And you gave her a kiss, and she kissed him back. Now, Olivia, I like you, but I'm going to have to give you a whore card because how are you going to end up kissing him after you already kissed Fitz? You were in Vermont with him all up and down, all in the house, and now you're kissing on Jake? Like, Really, you can't have it both ways, so I, I may have to ca start calling Olivia a whore. I really don't want to, but I may have to. Um, You know, he kind of kissed her and said his goodbye, and I'm like, oh, Jake's about to get killed. Come to find out him and Fitz are working, and they're um trying to get rid of Command. So he is now head of B613, and Command walks in. He just goes, yeah, you know, you know, I, I took control, you know, you want to, you can you sign some papers, blah, 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 so you can um be a part of B613. Papa Pope just looks at him like a boss and just keeps walking. And I'm like, oh, my God, something's going to happen. Oh, Quinn almost killed Papa Pope, but before she could, you know, inject the syringe, um, some guy came in and said, oh, we found them, Olivia's mother, we found her. And, um, you know, she couldn't kill him, but she went in the bathroom and got the tracking device out of her tooth that Hug put in, put in her uh, tooth when he was torturing her. And, um, you know, she took that out so that they couldn't find her. She go to, went to see um, Hug, and Hug basically told her, you know, you're not a gladiator anymore. You betray me. You betray Olivia. She saves us. You betrayed her. How could you? Basically told her to kick rocks. But I think it's more so because he cares about her. He feels like, oh, you you betrayed me. You know, and Olivia really wasn't that mad. He was more so mad that Huck tortured Quinn. He was just like, how could you? She was just like, how could you torture Quinn? And I think, um, I think, uh, Hug just got caught up in his feelings and that he really wanted to kill her. He even told her, he said, I would pull your skin back, cut your body up, and bury it somewhere if it wasn't for Olivia because, you know, you betray her. And that's the only reason why I'm not killing you is because of Olivia. So I do think he still loves her. And that's why he's so itching to kill her so that he could just get rid of her. He doesn't have to deal with any of his feelings. But she goes, she leaves out and she goes and sleeps with Charlie, and um, Harrison gets paid a visit by some some girl, and Abby's just like, oh, hey, I'm Abby. She just looks at him and says, oh, keep your phone on H. She's out, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen with that. Um, t -t -t I can't name anything else that. Oh, um, Cyrus and um, James have this conversation. He just goes, I'm not going to leave you, but you need to make me press secretary or, you know, yeah, press secretary. And, uh, you know, he was just like, Do you, does that mean you love me? And he was just like, don't push it. You know, I just I just want something, you know, so that I won't leave you. But, uh, you know, he could tell that he loves Cyrus. But um, that was Scandal. Um, if I left anything out, drop that below. I hope you like this video. Hope you don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at O's Midnight Love. And that's O-S underscore Midnight underscore L-U-V. Follow me on Instagram at DrinkMeUp21. That's DrinkMeUp21. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.